What's up everybody? This is Chlorine from Minion Realm. Coming in with another recap, and if you guys watched the last video, I told you guys that we would have a good war, and lo and behold, we had a never perfect war. So we're just gonna jump right into this one. Um Looking at the destruction, they definitely put up a fight, and it was a really close war, if um, if it was an even breakdown. We had myself and then Erica, who was a 10.5 pretty much, with Town Hall 11, a decent Town Hall 11 offense, and then we had down to 6 here for Town Hall 10s, although Christian here had level 1 Inferno's Town Hall 9 defense. On their side, they only had two Inferno bases. Um, I think they had 2.5 bases. And then from 7 on down, those were all Town Hall 9s. And at the bottom, uh, Bear 15. Okay, so these are all Town Hall 8s. Um, and the very bottom, obviously engineered. So they were trying to force a matchup. It's it's so stupid to do that. Like you're gonna get mismatched. Um and they got mismatched pretty badly. I'm not gonna lie, like I had fifty fifty heroes, this guy had thirty nine forty one, so and he was their only town hall eleven, so we we literally mismatched them in every possible category, so I would highly, except for, um, well, yeah, I would highly suggest don't put in low town hall, defenseless town hall eights. Like, that's going to give you a bad matchup so many times. Um, looking at their side, 99, no, 98, I mean 99 on Echo. We only needed, like, one dip from a point five, I think. So, like, town hall 9, town hall 9, town hall 9, uh, that's a dip, but all the rest are tunnel nine. So, nice job to them on doing that. I'm just gonna start um, starting this recap because we have some amazing bases. I mean, I'm just gonna start soldier here. I think this was the first attack for us in the war. He just came in uh, fresh on their top tunnel nine and tripled it. So. Obviously, an incredible attack by him. I was actually scouting this base when he attacked it, so. Um, we pretty much had the same entry. I would have used this natural divot and then placed a jump here. Um, he obviously broke into these walls, and I don't, I, th I think his queen kind of walks on him. As you can see, the jump spell is just off, like, doesn't quite get this wall here. So his bowlers walk, which actually helps him a little bit. Um, I don't know how much value they would have gotten if they went in. And now he's just got his hogs going in on the top left. He does heal this first expo. Um, pretty pretty smart to do that. And he has a never heal for these back archer tower, wizard towers. He does catch a spring, and at this point, um, he doesn't have a ton of hogs left. That was a nice heal, getting those two hogs at the uh, at the end. And so, as you can see, this was kind of close. Now, as Queen steps in to that compartment, she's gonna help clear these defenses, and the bowlers on the right are gonna take out that Tesla. And then he's just got that Archer Tower and the Queen ability. So I'm just going to fast forward this as he takes out that base with that 30 Queen. So nice job to him for getting that up to 30. Alright, um, I'm going to show this one. This is Leon coming in on this base. Um, this, was, this base gave us some problems. It defended really early. It was like a 90%. And then it defended, I think, five more times. I think um, two or three of them were 90%. So this, get, this base was definitely 
a problem base for us. And eventually I was like, just, just like, come on, Leon, take out this base for us. Because I can always trust Leon to take out any Talonine if it's been scouted. Like, if a Talonine has been attacked, Leon will triple it. Which is awesome, having him, um, having him to basically as an insurance for these bases. So he has this incredible kill squad push. Just look how much of his value value he gets. Like he's already cleared half the base, and I've really been starting to like um, doing this, where you put this kill squad at the opposite end of the queen, and then you have a skelly, and nobody puts their springs or bombs by the queen. So you, your hogs are all gonna survive, and you have the skelly to take out the queen. Now, as you can see here, his queen actually takes out the enemy queen. So it was, like I said, it was a amazing kill squad for him but even if he didn't have that he'd have all these hogs none of which have gotten springed or bombed or anything and he would have had the skelly it's also a great strategy to do fresh because you don't know what the cc is and you don't know where the traps are however you could bet um, the traps are probably going to be on the opposite side of the queen so it's a lot less risky to do it this way in my opinion um, then to go at McQueen and try to hog the back end because you never know like where the springs are and stuff like that. So, amazing attack for him, swagging a skelly and a heal. Um, but that was a good base for them because it defended quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna try to make these videos a little bit shorter. I think I'm gonna show. I mean, this one's going to be hard because we do have some awesome hits. I'm going to show this one by myself. This is a second hit. Um, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. In case you guys can't see, there's a troll Teslas on this base. And he's got the troll air mines by the troll Teslas. So, trying to mess up first attack it did mess me up on my first attack. So, I guess the base did its job. It defended one of my 30-30 tunnel 9 attacks. So... <clears throat> That's always unfortunate, but when you do troll Teslas like that, it is incredibly easy to clean up because it takes away a big chunk of the base. Um, I did the same kill squad. I just brought, I think last time I brought one skelly. This time I brought two because I knew what the clan castle was. This guy was rocking a, a big drag and a baby drag. highly recommend not doing that because... Didn't need to bring a poison, and yet it's not really a damage dealing clan castle, and it's not really that tanky for the queen, so there's really no benefits to doing that. I I don't know why. I would definitely take a Valk and a Witch over that any day. But as you can see here, my queen takes off a CC, but she's gonna go down. And now I just have all these hogs, and look how I first look at that perfect heal spell, <laughs> healing all those hogs just on the edge of those triple bombs. Now that I think about it, this is the second base of triple bombs, so these guys really like to do that. Anyway, look at this, I can just skelly the queen easy, 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 and now that she's down, there's, there's no traps that are going to take out my hogs, because I took those out with my kill squad, so I'm just going to fast forward this, but... Again, I'm really liking that strategy. There's a variant that Garrison invented that you would do if there was if you knew it was a Hound CC. You would basically just bring like 40 hogs, use your kill squad to make a little bit of a funnel, and then just hog the entire base. Um, but that's what I would do if it was if it was fresh. So I'm just gonna show one more. It was uh, God here who is a newer member. This is actually actually Christian's Town Hall 9. And he came against this max base, and I, I really liked this attack. Um, I think he was really patient, which was key for a base like this. Because you have these natural opening, um, you can funnel your kill squad in there pretty easily. And save a spell because you don't need a jump spell or wall breakers. So I'm really not a fan of these kinds of bases. Um... As you can see, he's funneling the entire side. 
And once he gets that funnel, like even these wells right here are going to allow him to have a natural funnel right in for a skill swap. So great identification there. Another big dragon, I don't, again, I, I don't think I would agree with big dragons on, on tunnel nines. I get you're trying to mess people up, but I think it's even better to do a hound than a big dragon if you're trying to mess someone up. But anyway, he heals through this, and now he starts the hogs on the bottom. His skill squad is tanking everything in the base because that entire hole just allowed everything to get in. And I think he had like 20 hogs and 2 heals, so he does heal with Tesla Farm. And I'm surprised this guy doesn't have any springs on that Tesla Farm. Now that I think about it, I didn't see a lot of hog springs, so I wonder where the springs are in this base. He does have the king still up, and I would say that heal is a little bit lagging. Um, you really want to try to lead the hogs when you heal them. However, they stay in the heal past the wizard tower, which is the main problem, and the king um, loses his target, so those hogs are going to clean up. I'm just going to fast forward this. They take out the king, no problem. Very nice job to him taking out that base. Alright. Oh my gosh. I just... Okay. I'm just going to show this one now. I just realized um, Blue did this. 4040 Town Hall 9.5. Uh, max Wizard Towers, Max Air Defense. I don't know if he has the Max Teslas. I would imagine so. This base did get matched with my low weight Tunnel 10, which is Shadow, who has level 2 Infernos and better point defense. So, again, I'm really not a fan of point, point 0.5. I don't think it works. I think you're going to match Inferno bases. Um, ever since we balanced our roster, we've been hitting even matches. We've hit one engineered match since we balanced our roster, and, the, and there was one engineered base in that match. So, we do get mismatches such as, like, we're down a Town 11, or we're down, like, two Inferno base Town 10s, but we don't... It's it's so much better to rock full bases than these max point fives, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about how Blue come came in here and took out this town hall um 9.5 look how much his kill squad did his kill squad took out both of the enemy heroes and now his hogs are just gonna be able to just destroy this part of the base as you can see very nice heal spell those are gonna heal the hogs right through these defenses and his queen even stayed up so that was an incredible kill squad by him I think this was our our third or fourth Town Hall 9 hit on this base. I know Garrison got a 98%. Um, I think it was doing his 40 hog and skeleton spell thing, and he just didn't have enough cleanup. But I'm just going to fast forward as Blue cleans up. Great job by Blue. Alright. So, I'm just going to show two more. This was me coming in on a Town Hall 10. So, we got one Town Hall 10v10. Almost got two if I had planned better. And for this one, this was the second attack. So, it's really nice to have two Town Hall 10s in a war because you can adjust. Um, and that's exactly what I did. I used my first on Shadow. I got like a 94%. So, I adjusted the kill squad. And as you can see, it's going to be an overkill. He has a multi-inferno on this side, which basically allows me to put a kill squad there. I I don't agree with multis anymore. Um, I think anytime you have a multi in a base, you open up that side for a kill squad, a deep kill squad. So that's exactly what I did. I had a really deep kill squad. My queen took out the inferno, and I, mean, I normally bring bowlers, but he had two bombs that I went through. And so it's safer for me to bring Valks and just heal them for the bombs because bowlers are kind of sketchy if you go for a double bomb. Like, you could lose them all. And that's just not something I wanted to risk. 
So now, as you can see, perfect hog pathing. I'm going to kind of place a heal there because I knew there was a bomb by that inferno. It doesn't really get tripped. Um, it got tripped on Shadow's raid, so that's why I did it. And now I have a skeleton spell, which is one of the adjustments I made. Because this cannon is the only defense that was left up when I attacked with Shadow. You know, it had it had health. It had half health when it killed all of my hogs. So I brought a skelly just in case that happened. I ended up not needing it. Um, cleaned up the base. I think that was a nice trip, but it was a max level 10. So again, if you're gonna allow a kill squad, at least have a hound CC. Like you can't have a damage CC and put a multi inferno. Like you're just opening up so many attacks. All right, so I'm just gonna end it off. Chlorine, my main, coming in on this base. Um, this is what secured us the perfect war. Anti-free base. I saw this base. I just want to pause it. I looked at this base and I was like, normally with these inferno compartments, you want them like at the corners, so it's really hard to bowl or witch them. This one was right in the middle of that side, which is one of the big reasons I did this and then if you look look at this base almost all of the defenses if you take this wall and you cut it all the way over to this side all of the defenses are on the bottom half of that wall there's nothing up here everything is down here and so basically I knew if I jumped here and here I would have access to 75% of the defenses in the map and at that point, the rest was like, I hope I have enough witches to take that out. So that's exactly what I did. I have bowlers on the entire side. I wanted a good funnel, and I got a really nice funnel. Unfortunately, this Inferno Tower does target the king very early, so I used the Warden and a Rage Spell, and that took that out um, before he got any damage. And I also saved the king ability, so that was nice. This guy had a hound. Um, probably one of the best clan castles for Town Hall 11. Just because you can stall the queen and your witches. But it didn't really make a difference because I had so much in a rage spell. Level 50 queen, by the way, is just overpowered. Like, I mean, max heroes are so overpowered. And I know that Supercell has released like a Q&A or something like that, where they said that Town Hall 11 offense is too overpowered and we're going to nerf it. Um, honestly, the only way you can nerf it is to bring back the Inferno blocking the, the heal spell, because this is just ridiculous. You can heal for an Inferno, and if you can heal in a Boulder Witch attack, you can just destroy the base. Like, that was the only thing that made bases hard was the Infernos, and now you can just spam it like this. This space was also pretty boxy for an anti-free. You don't want a boxy anti-free. You want to really offset the Infernos to make it really tough to attack like I did. You don't want to be able to attack an entire side um, like that. So... There we go, finishing up. I had so much left. That was kind of an overkill, but that was it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. They definitely had some nice attacks, so it, was, it wasn't it was a boring war. They all started attacking like with three hours left of war, so I don't know if they were trying to fool us or like... I, I don't know what the deal was for them, but it, it was pretty exciting at the end. Um, yeah two perfect wars in a row so obviously we're doing we're we're on a hot streak i wonder no nope. we are still searching for a war i think yeah so still searching um hopefully the next war is another good war maybe even a perfect war so we can have three in a row i hope you guys enjoyed that perfect war um it was a lot of fun to get two in a row that's, I, I don't think we've ever done that, so 
That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed Crazy Basis. It definitely was more of an exciting war than the last war, because they definitely had some nice bases. Especially at Tunnel 10. Their Tunnel 10s weren't too bad. And the 11 had an anti-free base, so it wasn't like I was just spamming a ring base. It was an actual anti-free base, so that was pretty fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I, I guess... If we get another match, I should see you guys in about two or three days. And I hope you guys have a good day until then.